Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. This is your monthly July reading and let's see what's coming up for you in July. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me what's coming up for Pisces in July 2022. My mom is a Pisces. Six of Cups. Someone is coming to visit you, Pisces, in July, or you're going to visit somebody. Actually, I do know many Pisces people. <laughs> One of them is my mom. Pisces, Pisceans are very creative. Look, speaking of mom, the empress here. <laughs> Some of you, if you're a mother and you have grown children, you might go and visit your grown children. <laughs> um, or your child or your children are coming to visit you. Okay, it could go vice versa. And the empress is somebody who is perpetually pregnant. So some of you, you might hear news in regards to someone getting pregnant, being pregnant. Or it could be you yourself getting pregnant. Okay, it could be any of these things. But Six of Cups for me, this is some good news coming in or somebody visiting you in July. Six of Cups could be you visiting somebody you know, you've known for a while. Uh, again, it could, be, it could go vice versa. This is a childhood energy as well. Six of Cups also can indicate children. Again, it feels like some of you have children. Your children are coming to visit you or a child in particular. It could be you visiting your child or your children. But Six of Cups, again, can indicate children. Some of you, it's you becoming a grandmother, grandfather. <laughs> um, definitely some news in regards to pregnancy and children visitation could also indicate holidays for some of you going to places that you've been to before so we've got the two swords here people you haven't seen in a while or places you haven't been to in a while but these are the places or the people you've already known before okay so we've got the five of wands here Six of Swords in my first. I wouldn't say the Five of Wands is like a bad chaos at all. It feels like you will be surrounded by people in July. Um, again, either it could be people coming to visit you or you going to visit somebody and there'll be people around. There's a lot of talking conversations I'm, ha I'm hearing. I'm with a strength card here. Everyone just, I feel it's like Everyone just drops their ego. I really don't see the five of ones as a bad card at all, to be honest, because of the six of cups right here. Um, six of swords again in reverse. So that's something about returning to a familiar place, seeing familiar faces. And you guys are going to have this, a lot of conversations, just catching up, talking, a lot of talking, right? spilling the beans <laughs> some gossiping as well but fun gossiping okay nothing malicious i definitely don't see that um hmm. but for some of you five of wands also can indicate somebody wants to fight for you in july uh, also i'm getting a very specific uh, message here someone may be gossiping about you and you've got your friends people who am i going to defend you behind your back defending you behind your back that's another thing i'm getting here but it definitely sense this um it, it is with people you already know a sense of nostalgia six of cups some of you in july you're going to rummage through your stuff as well the things you things you've been keeping for a while sentimental stuff because six of cups can indicate sentimental values as well so you're going to rummage through your stuff or you might find something you've been keeping for a while. And all these memories just come flooding back, right? Uh, it could be old clothes, could be pictures, um, sentimental stuff, jewelries, um, anything. You could be 
you know, some of you have children. You may see that you you've been keeping your your grown children's baby clothes. <laughs> That's for some of you. It's just there's a sense of nostalgia. Everything from your past is coming back in July. It could be a literal past person, two swords that you haven't been speaking with. This may be romantic for some of you. May not be. Could be friends, family, or you just feeling like you know. Feeling、um, like all these past memories, fond memories coming in,、um, in coming into your mind, coming into your heart. You might just go through stuff from your past that you've been keeping for a while, and you're gonna find little little things here and there, and it's just gonna warm your heart and make you feel、uh, good, and also. Obviously, a sense of nostalgia. We've got the emperor here in reverse. Got an emperor and an empress, but the emperor is in reverse. For some of you, it's a loss.、Uh, it's a past person, yeah, a past person you have lost, whether if they're still alive or not, because you can indicate that sometimes. Some of you, it's just someone you have lost, where you are no longer with currently. You're separated from this person. It could be literally someone you have lost and they no longer alive, but、um, this could also be a father figure. Some of you in July, you may have if you've lost a father, or if you've lost a significant other, a partner. I feel like this person is coming to visit you. Okay,、uh, the spirit, the soul is coming to visit you. Um, don't be afraid. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. They're not gonna harm you. But、um, but for some of you, if you're broken up with this person, this person is returning, right? Six of Cups. Maybe they want to apologize to you. This person is going to bring back all of the memories from the past. Some of you, you might even argue with this person a little bit. <laughs> Five of Wands can indicate an argument. Yeah, can indicate indicate drama. Or this person may express to you that they would like to. Fight for you, fight for this connection. Got the nine of cups here and reverse. Something is missing, Pisces. Is there something that is missing? Some of you, if you have been looking for something, you haven't found it. You might find it in July, okay? And nine of cups and reverse also can indicate sometimes if you're feeling kind of emotionally unfulfilled right now. You could be at a crossroad and you're trying to make a decision to make yourself feel much more fulfilled.、Um, Ace of Swords here. Some of you, two swords and an Ace of Swords can indicate clarity, a decision that you want to make based on, you know, clarity, based on truth, based on honesty, and you're gonna do it. You're gonna choose to do something or say something that you think is right and that it's honest. Or it could be someone coming towards you that you know, and this person is gonna speak their truth to you. Okay. We've got the Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords. This for me,、mm, hmm. that's a stuck energy. This is a stuck energy again. I feel like in July you're gonna be contemplating. Yeah, you're gonna be thinking a lot in regards of making a very、uh, important decision. But you just need more information for some of you. You just need more information、um, to make it clearer. That this is it, like this is the decision that you're going to make. Some of you could just be waiting for some signs to tell you that okay, this is it. This is the decision that you should be making. Some of you six of cups could also be you asking for some advice from somebody in regards to making this decision, or、uh, somebody could be coming to you. Someone may be coming to you. Someone that you may have known. For a while, this person may come to you and ask for some advice from you.、Uh, again, it could go vice versa. And a six of pentacles here, of course, it indicates help, compassion,、um, indicates something that is even, stable. I definitely see、um, in July either you are going to help someone, or someone is going to help you. It's also like a giving, a very giving kind of energy. Some of you be receiving gifts. Right from somebody close to you,、uh, somebody that you know,、uh, could also be it. It could be gift, gifts or help or advice. Okay, or it could be you giving it to somebody. All right, Pisces, this is awesome. I hope you 
serves you. I hope this reading serves you well. And I'm gonna leave you as usual with two playlists on the screen right now. First one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs. Check them out if you want to. I am open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to uh, hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.